Wigan are up into the playoff positions for the first time in Super League 14 after comfortably getting rid of Salford at the JJB. The City Reds were blown away in the first quarter of an hour as the Warriors scored four tries, the first of them from George Carmont. Tim Smith returned from Australia where he'd been for personal reasons to score try number two. The four-pointer created by Sean O'Loughlin's kick and good work from Amos Roberts. Pat Richards then got on the mark on 12 minutes. Some confident, super slick handling from Brian Noble's side, giving him some room in the corner. And it was a good night for Richards, who finished with 18 points from two tries and five successful kicks. Wigan made it 22-0 when Mark Riddell danced his way over. The Australian hooker starting to show the form that was expected of him when he arrived in this country. Salford coach Sean McRae conceded afterwards that Wigan's start had effectively won them the match, but his side did get on the scoreboard halfway through the first period, Richie Myler putting Luke Swain over. But the revival was short-lived as Wigan scored again before half-time, Gareth Hock and Cameron Phelps providing the opportunity for Richards to notch his second, 28-6 at half-time. It was almost impossible for Salford to win the match from there, but they did win the second half. Scrum half Myler showing the kind of form that led to his international call-up, particularly with his kicking game. His bomb collected by the leaping Mark Henry for this Salford try. 12 minutes from time then, man of the match, O'Loughlin, put Harrison Hansen in from Wigan. And afterwards, his coach was touting the captain as a possible Man of Steel winner. Salford had the final word as Myler's kick came back off the post padding for Mal Alka to score. But Wigan had done more than enough for a third win over the City Reds this season in all competitions. And they've come by a combined margin of 60 points. <laughs>